Hello, 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 all you wonderful, beautiful people. I am still getting over whatever this um, virus is that I had last week. It's kind of settled into kind of like a cold allergy thing and trying to settle in my chest. So forgive me if I cough, um, forgive me if I don't sound as peppy as I usually am. Um, but I'm up, I'm dressed, I've had some coffee, have coffee with me, and um, we are going to go out and about because I'm not going to let this stupid little virus get the best of me. Um, we are going to be headed to the Goodwill and see what they have. The last time I went, I actually walked out with nothing for the shop, which was unusual. So I'm going to try again. Um, it's a Tuesday. I don't know if one day is different. Um, to, if, or if one day is better than another to go to Goodwill. But um, we are going to find out. So I'm going to have to take the back way around. Um, they're doing road construction here in town. And oh! <laughs> If you're new to the channel, welcome. The channel name is Gangalized Treasure. My daughter and I are on what we call thrifting adventures. Um, unfortunately, right now, a lot of times it's just me. Um, Amanda lives in St. Louis now. And um, so we don't get a lot of time, chance to uh, go thrifting together. But let's head to Goodwill and see if we can treasure and I'll see you in the blink of an eye. I had a nice little drive through the country and now I'm here at Goodwill and I've taken some more albuterol so I feel much better. So you know the drill. Let's go in see if we can find some treasure. Today I started in the books not to look for books to resell but look for um, some cookbooks for where Amanda and I and I found a couple children's books that I wanted to get um, they were hardback they were like a dollar forty nine um, so I got three cookbooks and uh, Nana's Porch and the wonderful nursery rhymes this is Woody and I specifically put Woody in there early because when I went and looked up comps for Woody there were over a million Woody's listed. Now, I don't know if that is all of the Woody's. I put in Woody um, stuffed toy, but over a million, you know, I'm not going to pick it up if it's got over a million. So then I went to the lamps, and this lamp was really just kind of cute. Uh, cottage core is a thing now, but I decided not to get it. I looked at the lamps. I didn't see anything old. I didn't see anything that was interesting enough for me to pull out. Um, this is a beautiful topper for a Christmas tree that is an angel, and it has porcelain hands and a porcelain um, head with no chips or cracks. I couldn't find a price, and I kind of thought, oh, maybe I should get it because it looked like it was kind of old, and then I thought it doesn't have a price, and mm, I just left it on the shelf. Let me know if I should have left it on the shelf or if I should have picked it up. And this is some kind of Dremel. Um, I decided I didn't want to mess with the Dremel. And this is one of those sandwich makers. And oh, an Oster. You know, I'm going to pull that out. Got to look that up. I've already sold one or two Osters. This one is a bigger one, but let's see what else they have on the shelf. I really should have looked at that DVD VCR player. I didn't realize it was two, not that one. The one was on the other shelf. I'm looking at this square thing that I'm figuring out is a bread maker. Clocks, if you're looking for clocks, you want the one that actually has the pieces that flip over, not the digital. They, those ones are older. Oh my gosh, and a wherever cookie shooter, super shooter, these things sell all the time. Like there was 265 of them sold, and there's like 400 listed. So, 
It might be up for a while, but it will sell. Lots of people buy them. And then I went and looked at the baskets. Um, I know that baskets aren't something that I resell. They aren't something that um, I know a lot about. But I really was looking for a basket for me to be able to go out to the garden and be able to pick vegetables and green beans and not have to worry about carrying things in my shirt because lately I've just been carrying them in my shirt and that's the wood side of the aisle there was nothing there that I thought was and this is just a mess I'm sorry I don't know what I'm doing I must be looking at another um, basket there's a pretty heart one it would go up on the wall could hold dried flowers but I really didn't want one to hold dried flowers I just I wanted to look up and down the basket aisle to see if there was one that I could use for my veggies. Hmm, I wonder if this one would be... Oops, you guys are upside down. <laughs> I'll get you right side up here in a second. Maybe this is the perfect basket. I need something that fits in my hand well, fits on my arm well. That's going to be way too little. Oh, look there. Now you're right side up again. Huh, <laughs> my wonderful, 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 wonderful camera skills. Not... This one was kind of cute because it had a lid on it, but I didn't know if maybe if it had um, coasters inside or it sounded like it had nothing inside. And there's a lot that you can do with baskets if you decorate with them. And I know the Longa Burger baskets are the ones to look for. They didn't have any of those. I'm going to take a quick glance at the end cap. And this is a set of bongos. And I do put them in the cart. I got them for $2.99. And we will talk about it when we do the haul. And then I went back and looked some more. These were little porcelain pieces, but they weren't even painted yet. And I don't paint porcelain. And now we are in the knickknacks and the figurines. And that amber car there is Avon. I would bet you dollars to donuts. And oh, a little fuzzy bunny and a pitcher. Oh my. Do you think it's German? Mm, maybe? No. No maker's mark. It does have some age, but the gold is pretty worn and there's no maker's mark. There's some angel figurines, some rabbits. There's a stein there, but it's just so plain it's not anything special. There's some little pineapples, some lights some candles. This I thought was really cute because it has because it was white and not black and because it has butterflies on it. I thought it would be really nice to put in my new backyard after we move. I don't have a new backyard yet, but <laughs> I'm buying stuff for the new backyard. And this looked like it had you could tell by the bottom that it has some age, but I could tell by just seeing it on the shelf that it had some age and was an older piece. I don't know how to tell you how to just look at something and know if it's old. But anyway, I did put it in the case. In the case. I did put it in my cart. And do you think this? No. I was hoping maybe it was Italian. But it's like Homeco or Inesco or something like that. So and it wasn't very thrilling at all. And then I went around the corner and surprise. This is not at all what I expect at my Madison Goodwill in the cup section. Usually the cups are just jam packed full. <clears throat> of course, I didn't see any mugs that would be that were um, art pottery or any that had anything special on them. The one that looked like it had the raisin on it, I looked up last time and they sell for about four or five dollars. And now I'm in the glassware. You never know what you could find. Last time <laughs> These guys were so cute. They look like little chipmunks. Or maybe they're little squirrels. I don't know. <clears throat> but there's only two of them. These look like they were a little older pattern. And they are Duchess. And this piece I knew was old by looking at it. It was very pretty. And um, it's made in Germany. I did look it up. There are none listed and none sold. These look like restaurant wear. Oh no, they're Shenango, China. And this plate looks old. 
It's an ivory or an eggshell. Oh, look. I was right. It is eggshell by Nautilus. I did look it up. There's one listed and unsold. This is very bright. Maybe it's Mexico. Oh, no. It's clay art. I mean, that's wonderful that, that it's clay art, but I was just really hoping that it would be South San Francisco, made in China. I was not hoping for that. I was hoping to see Mexico or maybe Italy with all the bright colors. And this looked like possibly Lennox. It's kind of plain, but it kind of looks like one I found before. And nope, it's Montclair. Oh, Montclair by Lennox. It's the Montclair pattern by Lennox. I looked it up also. Um, two listed and none sold. This piece here is absolutely gorgeous. All of the petals are there. I don't know why I didn't buy it. This is a pressed glass. With this is a cute little um, face. This is they used to put a bowl set like this in your room and you would pour the water out in the bowl and you would wash your face and wash your hands. Now these candlesticks I'm sure are leaded glass. Two ninety nine. Well that's not bad. I can buy two can two crystal candlesticks for two ninety nine. Oh my gosh. They're two ninety nine each. So not gonna get those. <clears throat> of course I still have another set of crystal candlesticks that I haven't sold. And this is a cute pattern. Little baby roses. Mm. It's got some age to it, but no maker's mark. This is silver plate. You can tell by the tarnish, and somewhere it says silver plate. But I decided not to get it. And now we are in the trinkets and wall art. And this is made out of cork, and underneath are coffee signs. I don't want my coffee bar to look quite like that, so we're going to leave that there. Some wrought iron, some bakeware tins, a SpongeBob cake pan, some candle holders, some shelves, some little bunny tins, which will be cute for Easter, but it's not Easter time. This was interesting, just because it's so old. I did, um, I'm going to look over the rest of the end cap, and I guess come back to this, and I did um, look it up, and there are none listed of that kind and none sold, and some of the ones that were listed were listed for like 35 to $45 free shipping, and I'm like, it's going to cost you at least half that much to ship it, that thing's big, and it's heavy. So we're going to go through the toys. I am looking for the older toys, the vintage toys. Probably um, the wooden toys. And some of the plastic ones are older, but when you find a wooden one, you really know that it's old and that it's vintage. And um, I did see an airplane. And then I decided it doesn't have the, the top on it, so I just left it. Let me know down in the comments if you thought I should. This was interesting, but not interesting enough. The bear is missing a lot of pieces. I've seen these before. It has a bunch of pieces that go with it. That makes a train. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still coughing. And the stuffed animals. One of my favorite sections. I have tuppers and tuppers of beautiful stuffed animals for sale. So I'm going to go through the stuffed animals. But I can see already that there is no caterpillar. And I looked at a couple of bears, I uh, looked at a couple of dogs, I looked down in the boxed toys, I'm just showing you everything, and then I turn off the camera later and go back and look. That's that was a much better trip than the last one, considering the last one was a bust. I didn't even post it at the beginning that I was going in, and at the end that I didn't find anything. And... and there are probably a few things that I put in my cart and bought for the shop that you did not see. So be sure and 
hit that subscribe button and hit the notification button so you know when the haul comes out. And <laughs> it's been a while since I've done a haul video also. Um, that'll be out in a couple days, just as long as I stay <laughs> relatively healthy. Um, go ahead and hit that like button. We do appreciate all of you that have subscribed already. You are very precious to us. Um, we thank you greatly. Uh, go ahead and comment. If there's something that you saw that, oh, you should have gone ahead and got that. Or uh, something that I got that you're like, you shouldn't have gotten that. Let me know in the comments. We appreciate all the comments and I learn from you guys. Um, all the time and I'm still kicking myself because I did not get the red telephone and um, maybe next week we'll go to the bins but right now I have to go get um, some bread <laughs> and go home <laughs> but remember as always you are blessed to be a blessing so go out and make today a great day Let me throw the frisbee. He could do this all day. <laughs>